guys welcome back so today I played around in a new palette from give me glow cosmetics now I've never purchased anything from give me glow so this is my first purchase from them and it is a new palette called the vintage rose palette let me give you a close-up look look how pretty this palette is you guys it has such beautiful pictures of roses all on the front all on the back I mean it's gorgeous it just it's so feminine <laughs> and I love roses roses make me think of my mom because she always has rose bushes all over the place all over the front yard and everything so I love roses I have roses in my front yard as well anywho I love the design of this palette as you can see it's a decent size palette as well very nice size pans there is a decent size mirror in here as well but these are the colors for this palette you guys beautiful beautiful rose themed tones green burgundy beautiful pinks and some really gorgeous shimmers in here so when I saw this palette, I think when me and my girls saw this palette, me and DJ, we were just like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. I don't know, I think Lily probably fell in love with it too, but y'all know, we have to pick and choose what palettes we gonna buy sometimes, because it's something new coming out every day. But anyway, the box that comes with the palette looks just like, same design. Now, I noticed on the packaging, the box, as well as the palette, there's no ingredients, no product weight, no information, nothing. It's just like completely <laughs> generic palette and packaging, which, I mean, it's kind of nice because it's really clean and everything, but if you are someone who likes that instant information, you're not going to get it on the packaging. So I'm assuming you either have to check out the website or contact them. Now I did notice on the website, they did say that they don't test on animals. So um, I'm assuming this palette is cruelty free. So that's nice. But these colors are beautiful, you guys. And I created this eye look with this palette. Now it's kind of interesting playing around with this palette. You can kind of feel like, well, I need to just do a pink look or maybe a green look with the green shimmer. You know, blending these type of shades can be kind of tricky. Um, which is what I encountered with my eye look. You guys know I like to use as many colors as possible. So I did blend out some of the green and the burgundy and the pink and tried to use as many of the shimmers as possible. So although I really, really like how the eye look eventually turned out, it did take quite a bit of blending for me. Now these shadows are very nicely pigmented. I mean this green, this beautiful burgundy shade up here, even this shade here. I didn't use the baby pink, but I did use this beautiful, I don't know how to describe this, kind of like a corally type pink. Beautiful, beautiful color, very nicely pigmented, um, but they're not hard to work with, at least in my opinion, they're really not hard to work with. You know, if you're not trying to do some crazy intricate look like I do, and you're trying to do just a nice beautiful rosy look or a green look, I didn't find them hard to work with. Now the shimmers, I did kind of have to dig into the pan a little bit to get them to show on my lid. Um, you can not see them, they don't have that like super remarkable pop of shine the inner corner highlight which i use this color here it did pop very nicely but the shimmers on my lid they just kind of create a nice beautiful soft kind of antique type um you know shimmer so you're not gonna get like this super bright pop out of these shimmers but but the colors are gorgeous so let me go ahead and do some swatches. I didn't want to talk that much. I talk, I'm talking way more than I actually wanted to talk because I do have this whole look that I'm including in this video for you guys. But let me do some swatches right quick and then we can go ahead and move on to this look. As you guys can see, these swatches are 
ridiculously pigmented, okay? This palette did not come to play. If you like these colors, this color thing, you will not be disappointed with this palette. It's beautiful. <laughs> I have no words for these swatches, okay? So let's go ahead and just jump into this eye look. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out this look with this really pretty green shade. It's called Aged Rose Stem. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just packing that on the outer portion of my eye. I want this to be the darkest color out in the corner of my eye. Next, I'm going into Velvet Petals. And I'm placing that right next to that green shade and just gently blending those ends together. Trying not to let them muddy up too much. I do want to be able to see the difference in the two colors. Next, I'm going into Rust Rose, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love this color, you guys. It is so pretty to me. But I'm just using that in the inner corner of my eye, blending it into that beautiful burgundy shade and just buffing out the edges so it's somewhat blended. Now for my lid, I'm starting out with Copper Rose and I'm spraying my brush and just using a flat brush to place this on the inner portion of my lid. Next to that, I'm going into Thorn, which is like a goldy green shimmer shade. And I'm placing that right next to Copper Rose and just blending those edges together. Lastly, I'm going into Bouquet. I'm spraying my brush for this as well. And I'm placing that right next to that green. And you can see just how pigmented that shimmer is. It's very, very pretty. Now I'm taking what's left over on that brush from the green and just packing it in my outer corner just to kind of make sure it's nicely blended. Now I'm cleaning up the line and for my eyeliner today, I wanted to go into something a little bit subdued to go along with this rosy look. So I use a brown liquid eyeliner and I'm just creating a soft wing with that. Now moving on to my face, I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Primer today. And for foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl Cover True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And I'm using the shade D15. And I'm just taking my flat foundation brush from Juvia's Place to buff that into my skin. Now for concealer today, once again, I'm using my Juvia's um, concealer and this one is in the shade number 11. And once again, I use too much. <laughs> I have to remember, I only need a little bit of this concealer. But I'm just using a damp beauty sponge to blend that out. And I'm setting that with my Collab Setting Powder in the color Warm Caramel. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going into my Kiss New York Professional Pressed Powder. And this is their matte powder foundation that I just picked up in the color Toffee Caramel. For bronzing, I'm using my Morphe Glamour Bronze today. And for my blush, I'm using one of my newer blushes. This is one that I picked up from Sephora and it's in the color Snapdragon. Very pretty light pink blush shade. I think it went very nice with this eye look. Very soft. For highlighter, I'm trying out this new Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. 
And I'm using the darkest shade in here. This highlighter is very pigmented, you guys. I just barely tapped it and it was like pow. So I just spread it out amongst both sides of my cheeks. You do not need a lot of this highlighter. It's very pretty though. Now to finish up my eyes, I'm going in with this. This is one of my LA Girl Neon Liners. And this one is in the color, hmm, what color is this eyeliner? Blaze. And for my lower lash line, I'm going back into that green and just dragging it across my lower lash line. And for my inner pop, I'm using Blossom. As you can see, I'm spraying my brush and it did create a very, very pretty inner corner highlight. Very beautiful shimmer shade. For my lashes today, I'm using this Ardell Mega Volume Lash Mascara. The wand is extremely large, but it did make my eyelashes look a bit more full. For my lips, I'm lining them with my Ellery Lip Liner. I'm going in with one of my ColourPop lipsticks from the Sweet Top collection. And this is called Moody Bloom. Very, very pretty. It's perfect for the transition from summer to fall. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to top that off with one of my LA Colors High Shine Lip Glosses with Shea Butter. And this one is actually in the shade Mingle. So it's very, very pretty. It's almost the same shade as the lipstick, but it's in a gloss. And I'm setting my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. You guys know I love this stuff. But this is the look for today, you guys. I really enjoyed using this palette. I'm actually looking forward to creating some monochromatic looks, like an all rose toned look or an all green look with this palette because the shadows are just absolutely gorgeous and very easy to work with. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me to create this look today. I'm very happy with this purchase. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!